Hey guys, okay. Um, today I'm gonna talk about shaving down there. So let's all get real here. I know that unwanted hairs are very annoying and I have different methods to get rid of them. So the most common way is shaving and let me just start off with waxing and other stuff before I get really into shaving. So there's waxing, there is pre-wax strips Nair does not work for down there. Um, Veets does because I used to wax with Veets and the Veets pre wax strips they work phenomenal. They get everything and yeah, these don't work whatsoever. I use this for my mustache, for my eyebrows, for my armpits, but other than that, I just use Veets. But they discontinued that, so I, I don't know what to do with it anymore. So ever since Veets was gone, I've just switched right over to shaving because, well, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I just got a text. And um, here's pre-waxing. This is the body kit hair removal by Sally Hansen. This doesn't work. Don't get the Sally Hansen pre-wax strip either. This does not work worth of anything. Maybe because I'm doing it wrong, but it doesn't work. I'm probably going to retry it again, but it doesn't work for me. So don't even, you know, buy this. And then next is a hair removal cream by Beats. I love Beats a lot. They have amazing products, and this works phenomenal. Like, it removes all of my hair like that. Like, I would use it on my legs, and I do, I tried using it down there, but um, I used it on the, the top part because, like, let's see how you do this. You know, between your legs, it comes out like this. Underneath is where, you know, all that grows, and on top is where your bush hangs out. So I use that on there, and I'll use it on the bottom too. But you got to keep in mind that do not get this in your vaginal area because it will burn the shit out of you. I never had that problem, but I just know don't get it down there. Do it when you're not in the shower because if you're in the shower, all of it's going to drip down, and it's just going to burn the hell out of your vagina hole. So, yeah, um, use it wisely. Once you use it down there, like down there, Take a napkin and just wipe it upward. Do not wipe it down. Wipe it upwards and it will remove all your hair. This is unbelievable amazing, but the thing is it doesn't, you know, it only takes the surface of your hair, so it's just going to grow back just like razors, like just when you would shave. So it will still be prickly and everything, but waxing is a whole different story. Waxing is when they just remove the hair from the follicle and it grows back over time. It will be very, very soft and then eventually it will just stop growing. So definitely, definitely invest in waxing. It takes at least four months for the hair to to stop growing and that's what it did for me. Like it, it grew very, very slowly to the point where I didn't even need to touch up for like a whole month, you know? So um, yeah. So definitely check into waxing. Waxing is awesome. I really want to get a Brazilian wax, is that what it's called? But here we go with shaving. Okay, there's many different methods with shaving. You can use this, which I highly don't recommend because this is meant for your, you know, legs. And um, yeah, it smells really good. I really like this. this is the Chic Intuition. It's phenomenal. So definitely check into that for your legs. And you can also use an epilator. Here's the epilator. This is the shaving head. I use this for my leg, and it works phenomenal for my legs. But I would never use an epilator on there, just because I can't stand the, the pain of epilator on, like, my, with this armpit. I, I, there's hell in no way I can stand the pain down there. So, um, so what you want to do for shaving is exfoliate. Exfoliate is when you take off all the dead skin. If you can't exfoliate, like, if there's nothing you can exfoliate with, use a loofah. Scrub it really, really hard with a soap-free, um, soap free body wash. I know Eve has them. Eve's. So yeah, um, that way it doesn't sting your vagina hole. But yeah, exfoliate and then what you want to do is invest in a really good moisturizing shaving cream because once you shave down there it can get kind of dry like after you shave because well that's not where you like sweat a lot so you don't retain the moisture. You know how your face you have all the oils and stuff so it's okay but use something that's moisturizing and I really really recommend this is like my fifth one of this. This is Skin to Mint Moisturizing Cream Shave. It's phenomenal. It's a non lab formula which is great because you can see what you're doing down there. Um, you don't want to get a lab formula because you can get a big fat ass foam sitting on your vagina and you cannot know where you're shaving so don't even cut yourself because you probably will. But um, use a non lab formula which is this. And here's my trick. I buy these um, Dollar General single blades disposable razor. I use them once and I throw them away. And these come with 12. So I shave once a month leaving me with four packs a day. I mean four packs for three months. Three packs for three months. What? So there's 12 in here. I shave once a week. So that's four, eight, twelve. So I buy three packs. 
So one pack will leave me with three months. Okay, there you go, so I'm trying to tell you. One pack of 12 will leave me with three months. And why do you want to buy this and dispose it? Well, that's because your vagina hair is very coarse. So when you use a dull razor, like if you use this over and over and over and over and over again until like the soap wears out, Nine times out of ten, you're going to get ingrown hair, and it's going to look disgusting. So, I use this, single blades, and they work fine. And I'm very conscious when it comes to down there because I don't want any trouble. I don't feel like going to the hospital. I don't want to tell my mom that, Mom, something's growing in my vagina. I need to get it checked. So, no. Um, I want to do everything myself. Have it clean, have it nice, and just bacteria-free. But this, this contains a lot of bacteria. And if you get this... Somewhere near your vagina ends up going in your vagina hole. Good luck with that. But, um, yeah. So this is very, um, nice. Or what is it? Convenient. Because what you want to do is you lather up with your skin to mitt shaving cream. And you shave from the bottom up like this. And then shave from top down. But mainly, uh, do top down once. So just shave it up and dispose it after you use it. And it's this is only a dollar at Dollar General. A dollar that will last me for three months. And I need to buy, like, what, four of these a year? So that's $4 a year. Like, seriously, it's so much better than risking to get ingrown hairs. And you're just going to get razor bumps if you keep using the same blade over and over. It's just going to be unpleasant, I'm telling you. It's just going to be un very unpleasant. So... Yeah, definitely check into this. Love this. This is one of my favorite tips on shaving. I tell all of my friends to do this because, well, they keep using the same razor over and over. And they even if they use the single ones, they would still use it for like three or more uses and throw them away. No, don't ever do that. Use them for once and throw them away immediately because they get very, very dull. And when you use a dull blade against your hair, they don't get all the surface off. So what you're going to left is with ingrown hair, razor bumps, nicks, and cuts. So it's not pleasant. So definitely check this out. If you guys use this method before or you guys are going to, let me know. And if you, ha if you are going to and you did, come back to this video and tell me how did it work out for you. And I hope I'm not talking about myself because I hope this video is still rolling. I'll be so mad if it's, oh my god, don't tell me my head was cut off the entire time. Bye.